Hello my friends, welcome again. So here I am in the dashboard of our application. We have the drop down for the system management and the user management. We have the username here and the drop down for the logout, but uh, the links don't do anything for now. Okay, so we are going to fix this. And before that I'm going to show you I have created a re GitHub repository for this and it's inside the Laravel and Laravel employees management. If you want you get you go and clone it and do what you want. Okay. So I want to fix this to log out and if I go to the VS code and we need to open the uh, main blade and here we have the logout we need to fix this and I'm going to add what we have inside the uh, app.blade and go and pass it here so copy what we have here and pass it here and we, I want also to add the icon ok, I remove this one and save now come here and refresh and if I go and log out yeah, we are not logging so I'll go and log in again dot com and add the password ok uh, what we want now we add the login users as well as the menu for the logout yeah after authentication the user should be redirected to the black dashboard and yeah the user is redirected to the dashboard here and another one the user will be able to log in with a email and password. Yeah, okay. Yes, and we have this one. Uh, three failed attempt will log the user for the five minutes. And we need to go here and open the uh, login controller. And here we need to add this protected variables this for the, how many attempts we by default is 5 so I'm going to say 3 attempts and for minutes by default is 1 we need to add 5 and if I save uh, go and log out and try to log in so add john.com and some random password ok, try again ok, again yeah, and now if I try again we, we see we too many login attempts ok, please try again in the 300 seconds again ok, so with that we are ok now we need to create a user management and create update and delete users and we have to change the password and search users by username and email ok so come here and open the terminal and artisan make controller backend and user controller and I'm going to add the resource flag ok inside the web routes I'm, we need to register that so route 
resource and yeah users a user controller class okay uh, this user controller now need to be imported okay yep here save and if we go to the main blade.layout if we find where is the user we have the user here add the link to the user and the link is like going to be the road users dot index uh, refresh yeah sorry friends we if we add the resource controller we don't need the and try to log in jondo.com and add a password now we need to wait okay for the, if we I'm going to create a, in the views new folder for the users and inside that a new file for the index.blade.php uh, another one for the uh, create users create.blade.php another one for the edit and edit.blade.php okay go to the backend user controller and here we have the index for now just return the view and the view is uh, users index in the create just return a view users create and to uh, edit we need to find the user first and I'm going to use route model binding user and return the view user edit and pass the user there okay now here in the if I close all of that what we have here in the main of blade.php we have this uh, container fluid and we have the page heading and if I try now to log in maybe dot com okay now we, we have this dashboard and I'm going to uh, cut this and save and now if I refresh we don't have this one but when we go to the index here I'm going to add the extent okay extend and I need to extend the layouts main blade and here the section for the content and I'm going to add it here that one just uh, indent this little bit uh, 
and this section and here I'm going to say users okay save and I go to the users now and we have the users here okay now if I, I want to display all the users and we need the table here so I have uh, left the bootstrap for around uh, one or two years so I'm not very good with bootstrap I have worked only with the uh, Tailwind CSS now but I'm going to try the my best so I'm going to search for the table here and I'm going to copy this one and inside here I'm going to add a div with a class of a card and here div with a class of card header and here I'm going to add a, a span or no span sorry I'm going to add a link road user create and add the class of uh, float right Okay, and beat and if I come here and refresh we have this kind of thing here and down there I need to add the, the div with a class of uh, card body and pass it here this one what we and here we have the uh, table and we have the, this one to cre go and create the user but we have this kind of thing here and I don't want and this is because we have the row inside the, this one save come here and we, I want to add the row now so cut this add the div with class of row and pass it here save and refresh yeah we have the but I want this to be in the center and maybe how we I'm going to see how we can add in the center uh, position center element in the center if I refresh yeah we have in the center now and uh, I'm going to first go to the controller user controller and when we have the index get all the users so users and user all compact and add the add the users save come to the index and here now I want to display the ID of the users the username the email and maybe here manage to add the edit and delete button I'll go and remove the first and the second and uh, cut this one 
we need to add the for each loop for each users as a user and here pass that and here we can add the user id okay here the user username and here the user email okay and here we need to add the edit and delete buttons if i save and refresh here okay we have the user user id email and the fake edit and delete buttons okay my friends so in the next video we are going to create a user go here and add them the form here so I, first i'm going to just go to the create uh, this one uh, copy all here first in the index and go to the create and pass it here and here i'm going to say uh, create user and we need i'm going to remove this or if you want you can say here the users and here uh, in the header say the create new user and here we need to add the form so here is going to be the form and if i save and refresh now yeah here we have the and here we need to be the form okay my friends this is for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one thank you very much all the best